welcome back to another slow fashion video. Today is part of my regular series where I will be shopping my closet for looks that I found on the fall 2021 runways. That's right, because I think doing this is such a great way to understand that we don't need new things or that we can use little styling tweaks to spice up what we already have in our closet. So it's a really good way to consume fashion with more intention. Uh, if you like this kind of content that encourages creativity instead of consumption, hit subscribe below. You can also find me on IG. But if you like this type of video or this series in particular, then you will love my live Shop Your Closet studio events where we do it all interactive and in other people's closets. One of our guests whose closet we'll be shopping is a slow fashion designer, the wonderful woman behind the label, Laura Jean. I'll leave all the ticket and details in the description box below. So with that being said, grab your tea. Yes, uh, my mom treated me to a Tim Hortons tea <laughs> this morning. Let's jump on in. One of my favorite runway shows for fall was the Brunello Cuccinelli show. I loved these beautiful, like sumptuous monochromatic looks. They felt super chill, but there was also a lot of tailoring involved that I felt really brought the looks together. So I chose this look here, but before jumping into my closet, I always like to take a step back and pick apart the outfit from the perspective of elements of style. It helps me not focus so much on the garments that the model is wearing that I don't own and more about seeing my closet from a different perspective. So if I were to break down this look, one of the first elements that really jumps out at me is this interesting mix of style aesthetics. We've got this nice loose boyfriend kind of jean which comes across as casual, but it's paired with elevated items like a silk blouse and a really beautiful jacket and a structured bag. Another element that is really jumping out at me is the use of color, where it's mostly monochrome in this beautiful, like, desaturated camel with an interesting touch of black. And there are a couple of little styling tweaks, like buttoning up the shirt all the way to the top of the collar, tucking it in, um, and rolling up the cuffs of the pants. I could probably spend a lot longer picking apart this outfit in more detail, but I tend to do that in the live studios. But now that I've like de dissected, decomposed, those are horrible words. I've created some solid guideposts in my closet that don't have anything to do with making me want to shop. So I have a pair of black denim. They're also a little bit faded, but they're a tighter, more tapered fit. So I'm definitely going to lose that relaxed boyfriendy kind of silhouette. I've got this blouse. We might lose a little bit of that very polished and tailored essence because of that, but we'll see. Uh, and on top, I've got this jacket, coat I should say, or this one. Okay, here is the base which I promised with this little blouse here, the jeans, the coats are gonna be my issue. Actually, I lied, let's do shoes first. In keeping with the brown theme. Oh, but they're just so good. I've got this coat here, which is a little bit heavy. This is good, actually, this is pretty good. Let me get rid of these earrings. Okay, this is, this is not bad. So the reason why I hesitate with this look is because this is a pretty heavy coat. Like I would wear this on days where it's minus 25 Celsius, which I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I'll pop it on the screen. Anyway, when it's really cold and the chances of me having an exposed ankle, it just feels a little bit off. I would add socks to make it a little bit more realistic. I've lowered the pant roll just because with the sock it felt like it was way too high. This feels a little bit better. I've got the mix of the tailoring and the black jeans. I would probably definitely wear this. This is not bad at all and perfectly appropriate for fall weather, I think. I know that in our inspiration the model is sockless and has bare ankles but that's I think the beauty of this is that it's really about interpreting something for your style and your lifestyle versus just 
directly copying something. Um, because, you know, chances are, you don't live on a runway. Unfortunately. You waited in my room And I can see you smiling I say I'm I don't Number two was found on the Gabriella Hurst runway. This is very different from my own aesthetic. I tend to go for looks that are a little bit more structured, but I thought this was a really interesting look because of the beautiful textures. Now, if I were to break down this look a little bit more, I think that would be one of the biggest sort of elements that I would pull out of it, is this really interesting mix of like knit, crochet, shiny leather or it could be faux leather in the boots and the belt. And then the other most obvious element that I can see is that it's all monochrome. They're wearing black, but this is one of these easy elements that you can really personalize to yourself. This is gonna maybe force me to rewear this skirt a little bit, which I actually have worn many times. It's just this great lace secondhand three-quarter number. It's not knit. It doesn't have like little pom-poms interspersed throughout, absolutely not. But it's a really interesting texture compared to what I'm gonna put on top. Because my skirt is a little bit more tapered on the bottom, I'm gonna flip the flow and proportion of this look. So in the runway look, the proportion is a little bit more fitted on top and flowy, more voluminous on the bottom. But I'm gonna do the opposite. Okay, here is this base, which, not gonna lie, I feel zero need to cinch my waist with the belt. I love how this just falls over the skirt and creates one long column. So I'm gonna use my second hand suede over the knee boots. If this were a regular day kind of look, this is exactly how I would leave it. And I think this in itself is a pretty great interpretation of our runway look for the sake of like creating a look that maybe feels a bit more dressy. I've got this extra wide belt that is a wrap belt. Rather than tuck the sweater into the skirt and it'll be bulky, I'll just take the front and tuck it in just a little, fold this over, do the same in the back, fold at the sides. I mean, I'm talking like I know exactly what's gonna happen and like this is gonna work, but I could be wrong. Okay, I need to adjust. Gosh, this is lovely. This is like a date night in the winter look. You just throw on your favorite coat and off you go. And yes, I realize the skirt is a little bit see-through. I could wear a slip, but I feel like because my legs are mostly covered by the boots, I feel like I still have enough modesty <laughs> and I'm covered everywhere else. And also, I mean, I really like my legs. So it doesn't bother me. It's like down your hips, around and down your curves, captured by your lips. In my room. This last one, you will not be surprised. Céline. I love what Hedy Slaman has been doing. I don't know if that's how you pronounce the name of the creative director, but uh, there we go. I just love these looks. They feel so casual and chill and cool. I'm gonna try and break apart this one a little bit. I think definitely there's an overall vibe of being very relaxed and effortless. Definitely layers are happening. And finally, the proportions are really interesting with the oversized sweater and then the extra long trench coat. So everything is feeling very long, creating some interesting lines and like a little bit of bulk, especially around the neck. It's balanced out by that big like boho chic bag as well. So this one's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge. My leather trousers are straight legs, so they're not gonna fit too easily into a boot. I have these faux leather leggings, this cream sweater, which has that big funnel neck. Okay, I've started with this combination. I do have these boots, which are actually a proper cowboy boot. I'm not one to wear leggings and shorter sweaters. This isn't 
ain't bad. I would probably wear this, but I'm really curious to try the different trousers. Got my big slouchy bag. This one was made in Canada. Realistically, I don't think I would be comfortable taking this jacket off. So it's kind of a look that I would have to wear sort of going out, running errands. But yeah, otherwise, pretty cool. Let me just try the other combo. Okay, final iteration, because clearly I love changing very warm clothes on a very warm day just for you. And I much prefer this. I think this is exactly how I would interpret this look realistically. Put my secondhand leather pants on. They are a straight leg and if I tucked them into these boots it would look like too much like a like a jod hopper or something like that. So I like it like this. It still feels casual and easy and I've actually tucked in my sweater a little bit at the front. Maybe not as cool and loose and effortless as a Celine runway model, but definitely more like myself. So there we go. I think after all that, we found a winner. That is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you thought those looks were a hit or a miss. Don't forget to grab your ticket for this month's live Shop Your Closet Studio on October 23rd at 1 p.m. EST. Everybody can join no matter where you are and if you can't make it we send a recording afterwards so you don't miss a thing. Uh, and we've got a little special something uh, with Laura Jean for ticket holders as well. So I really hope you can make it. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you learned something new. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and uh, I will be back next week with another slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching.